morning to everybody, and I would like to thank Professor Alexander Belichakov for the invitation to participate of this interesting workshop. With prof uh, Professor Rutgers Exner, my colleague Guilherme Snake, Pedro Arantes, chief of the Department of the uh, Technology Department. And I'm sure you have a very fruitful morning. First of all, uh, I'd like to register that I have a very particular interest in the public works subject. And since Alexander Alexander invited me, I start to think what to present here. And after many changes, I decided to concentrate in the relation between architecture and city. I'm not sure if I did the best choice anyway, but at least I hope to bring some issues or questions to the debate. The relationship between architecture and public space permeates the history of architecture since the people started to live in society. Everybody, is clear to everybody? Can you hear me? Okay. Uh, sharing the fire with different issues over the time. Today, despite the gated communities, uh, shopping malls, and all kinds of fence in parks, squares, uh, and uh, many public places, I can't see, maybe, I'm very optimist, I don't know, but really I can see kind of growing movement to outdoor life. I think it is the sum of many aspects. Recognition of the value of our environment and heritage preservation, uh, the search for a half-life, the bicycle as a transport, among many others exposing more the people to the public life, therefore collectively. Uh, I think it's really a movement uh, to the outdoor living. In this sense, I'd like to bring to the debate the work of an architect. Not very studied, not very much studied and published, whose work brings, in my opinion, many contributions to a better comprehension <coughs> of public space and the whole of the act, this relation between architecture and public space. This act is Fabio Penteado, who belongs to the group articulated around Villa Nova Artigas, with whom Penteado developed some works, which the best known is the dwellings as in Magalhães. Well, Fabio had an architecture premise, the relationship between architecture and the city optimizing the use of buildings, and it doesn't matter if it is public or private, because this relation for him is very important. Having as research, source the observation. For him, it's a very empirical research, and with this empirical method, Fabio developed a consistent investigation with very good designs. Active since the 1950s, he had also an important hold in the diffusion of the architecture problems. He had been the editor of the architecture section of the Visão magazine. Visão magazine was a weekly magazine expression on the 60, 1560s, especially for the businessman. And he had a special column that he wrote about architecture and urbanism. Um, in his, uh, this fixed column in which, in which he discussed the main architecture issues, he the most, when the most popular theme was the construction of the new capital, Brasilia. So it was, uh, these articles are very, very interesting. Beyond the good solution to the functionalist problems and to the aesthetic contribution to the urban landscape, creating opportunities of life, is the great challenge of the architect, I think. Well, let me see. Well, the city's largest uh, wealth is presently for me what is not planet. Uh, it's not designed. That's the very the rich thing on the city. So the unpredictability, uh, the possibility of meetings, facts, events not included in the problem. Um, and vision for architecture an excellent condition and the condition of the excellent. Looking to break uh, the established structures, Penchado proposed through its architecture possibilities for exchange, exchange in meetings, an exercise of a chance, an architecture, of, uh, an architecture above all generals. 
I think it's one of the most general architecture at that time. As the critic George Tchaikovsky is a, it was a carioca from Rio de Janeiro, a very good critic of architecture, uh, once wrote about his Penteado's architecture. It's an architecture that claims the condition of social space. So, his uh, method is always observing the situations and from the situations he observed the ideas for the architect. So I choose some uh, projects to discuss <coughs> with all of you. Now, this I think is the, uh, the best contribution. The first of all, open <coughs> as is forum, as a city curb, um, belonging to the Plano de Ação do Carvalho Pinto was a special plan for uh, Sao Paulo <coughs> state government and he made a, a, a court um, for a town at that moment a very small town in Araras with a few, pub, a few very few public space for meeting conference and shows you know and the half, uh, his reference for this program was the state part of Sao Paulo, which is the Tribunal de Justiça, which is in a central area of Sao Paulo downtown, designed by Ramos de Azevedo in eclectic style, a monumental space in academic composition. And he decided for a court as a covered square. Uh, what he wanted, the premise was a court without no doors or monument lobby. Uh, so it was a square, a covered square um, <coughs> where the people can stay, pass by, and through. And um, in the judge's room, which is the, uh, the main uh, part of the program, and the judge that uh, is the largest one, uh, he conceived as um, auditory uh, that could, which could be used for a conference, for a show, and so on. So it's a, a completely different interpretation of a program, a functionalist program. So why not? Why not this um, judge room, which for him is at least, uh, he hoped that have never been used, it, eh? that there is no crime, nobody need to be judged in there, could be used for a conference, for a workshop, for a show, and, you know. and it was built. Eh? This is uh, the idea, so it's a square, eh? and the, the judge rooms and all the administrations uh, Necess necessities is on the right side uh, here, oh, sorry, on the left side, and here is the judge room, uh, would be an auditorium. Here the auditorium, uh, and all the rest of the problem around here, in uh, open, completely open space. This the built one. Nowadays is a camera municipal is a um, city council. A city council. It's a city council, but it's so fancy. <laughs> no more open space, but it's still there. And and uh, a square. There's a a parking a car parking lot. Well, it's another one. It's a Teatro de Piracicaba. He made this project. And the premise of this project was exactly the Teatro Municipal of Sao Paulo, Vale do Enrabal, which uh, uh, he was observed for some days and asked the people that passing through, about almost uh, one million <coughs> people passed through the Adulto do Chá in Sao Paulo per day. And Penteado asked some people walking there, and nobody, m much of them, didn't know that it's a theater. Have not get into the theater. Huh? So he decided that he want 
a space at the same time, a square and a theater. Uh, that was his idea for this um, land. What he had was the whole uh, block, uh, and he thought he, if he put just a building in this block, it would be uh, um, an obstacle. In not, uh, what he wants is a connection between the four streets uh, uh, where the people can cross, stay, <coughs> rest, and play. Uh, no, no, so the, the design, he imagined that even if you don't get into the theater, you can use this space as a square, as a place to stay, at the look and exhibition, you know, to participate in this urban area, not only get into the uh, theater, but uh, being around the theater. Uh, so, it's, uh, it was conceived as a main, uh, as a huge flower uh, with the, audit, uh, uh, the auditorium, the foyer, everything works. But the main, the premise of his work is the relation between the city and the urban space, more than make a wonderful theater or something like that. The another one is uh, another concourse. It's, uh, it's only the project. Was not uh, built, and it's, it's a very <clears throat> it's a competition, no? uh, <coughs> a very disputed international competition, uh, the, uh, for celebrated Cuba's victory over the United States. No? It's a, everybody participated, most of architects participate in the of this competition. And the program was a monument to celebrate Cuba, uh, Cuba's victory uh, over the United States. It should also have a museum for the collect weapons, and which was disregarded by Pinchai. He suggested a museum for art. And the weapons should be used as a material, still, to build the monument. You know? And the fundações, ficar <laughs> todas as armas para as fundações. Né? Uh, and a square which design depends on the people movement. Uh, so far away is the landscape, closely is a monument, <coughs> and the square is the people. The sign of the square is the movement on, of the people. Is it clear? Everybody can understand? So, uh, so it's a monument. It is a dwelling for uh, workers in Cidade do, do, do Queiros. It's in Cidade in Santos. It was uh, it's only a project. Also, it was never built, and um, was um, conceived as created uh, uh, to be integrated to the existing city as a neighborhood, not, not as a ghetto. Imagine as urban art, the uh, window sill should be painted as Antonio Maluffi. He asked for the, uh, the painter Antonio Maluffi, who was at that time already known, to conceive the uh, window still, not the peitorios. The peitorios, and on the way, uh, in, in, imagine this as a urban art. Uh, so then you can see this as Zezinho Magalhães, the way uh, it's 1962, and he participated on the Zezinho Magalhães with Fab Penteado, Paulo Mendes da Rocha. And have another solution, but the idea is the same. You have the window sill with this uh, uh, art, urban art. No? The another one, so it's the relation with the city is very important. It used to be a pedreira, how do you say that? And a pedreira is, a, how do you say that in German? Where you can take uh, uh, stones, stones, stone mine. Stone mine, yeah, it's a mine. A stone mine, that's it. Thank you, Billy. Stone mine. Steine Felsen. There was a stone mine there, and he incorporated the stone mine in his. Uh, and his project uh, with a pound for the point. 
And the another one is uh, Club Harmonia, which is the private club in Sao Paulo. It's a, it's a very selective club, but it was conceived as the premise was. My ideal uh, <coughs> club is Copacabana Beach, or a small square with no compartment space where people can come casually, sit, and suddenly start to talk. So that's the way we think this club. It's, um, it's like fog, no? it's a, a great cover, but it's no compartment space, it's a, a very fluid space, open space. Another Antonio Maluf again. <laughs> And this is um, another one which is very interesting. It's um, Mercan, it's a market, a public market. It was a competition and it was <coughs> never built also. It's only the project. Um, but again, the reference he had for this uh, building was another Ramos de Azevedo building, which was uh, uh, a great pavilion, huh? a closed pavilion in um, when you have a very uh, clearly defined the outside and the inside areas. Huh? It's outside and inside. And what he proposed was exactly uh, a square, uh, uh, um, not a market where you, know, uh, you don't have inside and outside, but you have a square that the people can use for other use, just pass by, sit down, you know, and also buy everything they need, because they have the boxes, closed boxes, that you can sell everything, and then close at the end of the day, but it's still uh, a public uh, square, so. And the premise was, No come inside, the dog is chased and the blind turns indigent. Because it was a very popular um, figure <coughs> in uh, old times. No? Cego, pigeon the small, and the indigent came at, at the, uh, the door of the dwell, of the market. And so, what he is against is about this idea where you don't have even inside or outside, that you have a public space. So, um, this is a Mercado Portão. No? Well, it's a Teatro de Opera de Campinas, another design project. It was, it was not executed, uh, it was not built, and the premise was the popular reference, spontaneous happening itinerant structure, and then you have the functional space. How you can articulate this, all the, the program, eh? and uh, thinking in a, pop, uh, in a spontaneous happening. Eh? The people getting together, and then uh, you put uh, uh, itinerant structure, and then you in, in solid construction. Eh? Um, and another thing he thought, is uh, to the, for him it was very important, uh, the artist, the artist as works. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he understood that uh, uh, those are need a very um, good space for them to work. So they had a very um, special attention, you know, thought in the comments, uh, and the, Usually, the camerings stayed on the very low basement, and it's a very dark place, and so they put all the cameras, how do you say camerings in English? Uh, yeah, like dressing. Dressing. Huh? Like dressing. Uh, camerings, dressing. Yeah, yeah, no, I think, the, the private uh, place for the artist. Huh? And um, with windows, Look into the lake, uh, so the Kamani have a very uh, so special situation. Oh, my Kamani? Kamani, yeah. Rest room. Rest room? Oh, 
the restaurant. <laughs> so he said, but it's not exactly, uh, uh, he didn't thought as a restroom only, dress, but dress, 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 a dress, dressing room, I thought it's a restroom, okay, a, a dress room, okay, wow. I think it's, he thought it's more also than a dress room, anyway. But this is um, Teatro de Opera, so he put it at the, the small theater in the big theater with a um, street. Uh, uh, linking them, uh, and this is street under uh, underground street, where you can have the uh, if you, all the demonstration, the bomboni, uh, the, where you can buy candies and sweeties, and a bar, uh, a coffee, uh, and um, also um, the. Topography. He works the topography to uh, auditorium for the spontaneous manifestations. This one built, not very good execu executed, but is there. É o Centro de Convivência de Campinas. Um, using the two blocks, he proposed a culture center, uh, which the cover. Né? is used as an auditorium. And the premise was, uh, many times, the, I think it's the most important, I think, uh, synthesize his uh, ideas of architecture. Many times, the space open to, the, to meet people for contact with things of culture and theater is more important than the building's design. So uh, he did it. Now, here is space for uh, meeting, uh, for the things of the culture and the theater. It's more in an open space than a building. So, and that people can pass under uh, this, uh, I don't know, this <coughs> uh, places. And uh, this is space in the ass, in the, uh, with it, it's, because the <coughs> cultures and so, he proposed uh, uh, at the beginning it was just one block. The uh, next block was a garden. He proposed to the major of the city to incorporate the square <coughs> and the garden in this the same area. And what he <coughs> um, decided is to explore the beauty uh, in, in this uh, uh, Archibancadas, né? This, um, grandstand. This is a, the grandstand, yes. Down, using the two blocks, he proposed a cultural center with the cover will be also on a grandstand that could be appropriated by the people in different ways. Uh, just to stay with friends, to, ho uh, to house spontaneous presentations, or to accommodate large civic manifestations. As this one, here, let me show you. Depois of it. This one is a very um, it's a political movement in the 1980s to restore the democracy in Brazil, the Direta Já. And the manifestation of the Direta Já was at that, in that place. So, um, <coughs> the, the grandstand, and then downstairs you have all the culture uh, programs, right? functionality. The exhibitions area, the theater, and everything downstairs. Nowadays, it's, uh, it's, it's still there, but not having exactly used as thought by Fabio Pecha. Uh, but anyway, it was his idea. And I think it's I, um, the end of my time, but anyway, Santa Casa, uh, it was. Um, Sign for a, uh, a hospital, uh, Santa Casa. Uh, it's a construction stopped uh, with the economic crisis. And nowadays, um, occurred. It's occurred. But this hospital is intended for the poor people. Uh, among them, the uh, Santa Casa. It was for the poorest people because they didn't have any, even NSS, a contribution to the state, so 
is very to the poor people. <laughs> so, and thinking in these people that he uh, decided <coughs> for this building with no elevators, no, uh, um, it's not closed also, so, uh, então, uh, the internet is, this hospital is intended for the poor, among them many illiterate mothers who have nowhere to leave their children, why it takes one to medical appointment. So I thought, said Fabio Penchado, all of these are Fabio Penchado codes, huh? I thought have any is understanding and welcome space for the neediest. A fluid space assessed by ramps with no elevators and a playing areas for two. Even and the ramps should have colors like yellow, and the people receive a card. Then the color by the color of the card, they can know where they have to go. So, as uh, uh, the main idea for this hospital, it never works for as a hospital. And this last one is. Um, Parque dos Anciãos is a popular rest home. This one is a rest home. <laughs> Demanded by a Catholic institution for the poor people. Uh, it's important to remember that at that time the elder does not have the same visibility they have nowadays. Né? Os idosos naquele tempo eram. He imagined this rest home as a meeting point where children and old people could get together, a reference to the neighborhood uh, which chapel could attend the community around where they can celebrate marriage, baptisms, and all kinds of Catholic celebrations. It was not executed because the committee is very uh, curious it was not, uh, and I think shows a lot of the mentality of that time, huh? because the comment said it was very sophisticated, and they want only something just for the old people. So, huh? And I knew in the, the premise for Benjado was, I knew these people were poor, that they had worked their whole life in a rural area, and they feel embarrassed eating in a closed dining room. I thought they f would feel better eating in a port without no, uh, without much uh, stiffness. So, I think the ideas they had, it's the last project I showed to you. Uh, some issues and some questions, I think, is still contemporary, is still active. I can. I think they can. Uh, we can discuss and can <coughs> orient many works nowadays. So thank you for your attention. If you have any questions, I can answer you. <coughs>